reactions are available on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of episode 13 of season 2 of Gravity Falls. Dungeons, dungeons, and more dungeons. And press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. This is the game that Ford had in the flashback. I assume, perhaps even though Stan didn't want it, a chance to bond with the kids. Ugh. All right. Oh, Dipper's reading journal too. Oh, did that come? Did that come through the portal? Um. <laughs> I really hope you got an explanation for some stuff. And <laughs> that little big goofy smile. Ooh. Okay, so it's not... Well, based on... Based on... Yeah, I get, it's not from through the portal, but it's based on how they described it in the last episode. Everything is from through the portal, but not through that portal. Start on the timer at 102. In 3, 2, 1, go. Whoa. You're one to talk. <laughs> oh, come on. Continue to show who his favorite is. This is depressing. But yeah, I'm I'm basically expecting this to be the closest thing we'll have to a filler episode for a little while here, because we're winding down to the finale. I so thoroughly love this intro. Gotta check on that in the screen. At this point, other than maybe the series finale, it changing would be kind of annoying, but... Arrgh. All right. Silky Visionaire. Starting the timer. Attempting. At 2.41. In 3, 2, 1, go. Aww. The the little uh, doodle she had of them two holding hands. Befuffle flumpter. Oh dear. 
All right, starting the timer at 3.14. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh? No. Oh, yo! Dipper's gonna be the one who... Cool. The wizard on the front looks creepy as fuck. So the game's gonna come to life or something? This sounds like math. Pretty much. <laughs> nice. Maybe you'll run into Hawkeye. <laughs> Say what you want, it's fun. It looks like an eight. It looked like an eight on top. <laughs> Ooh, bullshit! That's so. I mean, okay, okay. I was I was calling bullshit that there was a way into the basement that was that simple. But after the gravity anomaly, all right, all right. Turn the timer at five fifty seven. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look safe. And you're going to recognize the die, right? <laughs> What's crazy to me is this episode came out before the current big D and D boom. I wonder if the, how differently the writers would have done this if it was even a year into it. Well, oh, gosh. Ah! Pretty sure Ford might end up being my favorite character. I still, I, I find Stan fucking interesting compared to how I thought of him in season one. I still don't much like his characterization in broad spectrum. Good God. That takes practice. That's not something you can just do. I wonder if he, because of unique uh, anatomy, had to just work on his coordination like that on purpose. Is 
that's not easy. Some people, it comes more naturally to than others, of course, but... <sighs> Starting the timer at 7.31. In 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh yeah, this was written before the current D and D boom. Because I don't think they'd be kind of shitting on it as much as they currently are. If it was still in that niche territory of like pre-2014 area. Yes. No. Whoa. How do you know that? I've been assuming you were in one place. I got to I got to look at some of these. <laughs> That's so cool. I'd want to use it, but it, it's probably dangerous, right? What happens if you land on the uh, the male female signs? And the cherries. Hey, it's Vegas down here, Stan. I am. Ooh, that kind of looked... No, it was just a triangle. I was going to say it kind of looked like Bill Cipher. Starting the timer at 8.57. In 3, 2, 1, go. I wonder if the uh, creatures living in Gravity Falls, any of them come through the bottomless pit somehow. <laughs> oh, no. You're co-DMing? He's a nerd!
They look so excited. They took over the living room. Whoa. The carpet room. <laughs> Torbach, Smeargal. I'll come back to the screen and do some code breaking later. Boo! Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I need you attacking both sides of my personality here. Is this what's gonna, gonna cause this all to break down? Yes. Is that got the infinity die? Okay. Uh, Ford, that's kind of your fuck up. Like, to be real with you, like, I can't even blame him for that one. Also, the only players. <laughs> Your math is no match for my gun. Oh, no. Detective. I figured they were gonna, like, get shrunk into, like, a pocket dimension or some shit like that, where the game was real, uh, like that one episode of Star Trek. Quest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just fucking wielding a chair. And, and, and not like a folding chair. <laughs> no! I was never bothered by Navi. I always preferred Tattle. <laughs> Be stupid! Be stupid! That was writing. Okay. What's on his robe? Is it it just very like just math math shit? Awesome. Starting the timer at fifteen ten. In three, two, one, go.
right? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, getting rid of their brains quick, Stan. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the closest to a filler episode. Unfortunately, also probably the weakest episode of season two so far. My one expertise! I mean, sure. It's. You know, unless you have a. You're a cleric and it's one of your spells, I suppose, but. I get that it's simplified. The sad thing is, uh, given the kind of people who tend to become TV show writers, I'm willing to bet the writers actually play Dungeons and Dragons. Or at least uh, uh, some of them did. But this is just how these... <laughs> the game used to look. Ultimately, I'm feeling like the TMNT 2012 episode that basically did this was the better episode. It's supposed to be like the Beholder? No. One in thirty-eight. Cheating! Somehow. What is it like two percent? Not even two percent. A percent and a half? No, that's two and a half. Turn the timer at 1840. In three, two, one, go. I really hope that was cheating somehow. Like, he, he knew how to... He did something to uh, adjust the role. Fudge the die. Ah! Okay, okay. The, the, the hot elf might be my favorite part of the, the, the D&D <laughs> jokes here. Anyone in the uh, audience ever played uh, Pathfinder? I never have. I wonder, is that gum gonna matter? Why are you the one keeping that? I mean, I guess it's probably fucking safer in your hands based on how that just went. Starting the timer in 1919. In three, two, one, go.
mid mid to late fifties. I'm guessing at this point. I I think we've learned, but I don't recall. It, detective, yes. No, it's just like real life. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet some people were on board with this show, depending on how c good the clues were. And this is the kind of show I'm assuming there's so much I didn't even go into. Why does this look like a face right here? Like, is this just a Rorschach situation or is that just a fucking face right there? What the fuck? <laughs> Start the timer at 2015. In 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, you, you got it back. That, that wasn't your fault. Yeah. Ooh. And is there a way to get rid of it? Now, don't blow the one time you were genuinely trusted with something like this. I hope genuinely. Good plot stuff for both Ford and Dipper, but yeah, weakest episode of season two. <laughs> okay, wizard. Probability. All right, let's see what we got here. I would kind of love to step back in time. And see what people, how people justified their theories, say, prior to season one's finale. I've heard say, spoilers for Steven Universe, uh... I've heard, say, people figuring out the pink diamond thing, like, as early as before the end of, uh, season two. And that's just fucking nuts to me. Like, I can see there being enough information to piece it together. Especially if you were watching week to week, had time to really go over the details. But it's still, it's still so cool. Not a big fan of the, what seems to be with this a recent trend of these shows feeling the need 
to address theorizing. Like, just, just tell your story. Like, don't concern yourself with that is my thought process. Owl House did it too. With that one episode with the whole, uh, who wrote the Azura books thing. Fun and games are great distractions, but small things can can have great reactions. Fun and games are great distractions, but small things can have chain reaction. Something in this episode that happened that's going to affect something else? Perhaps. The gum thing still weirds me out how that happened. Like maybe an indent from the die left behind or something like that. First things first, we're going to go to uh, this screen in the living room. I will be surprised if neither of these are, or both of these are nothing. Smear goal. Oh, come on. And what's the third one that's being blocked off right here? Aha, Omadon. Wouldn't be surprised if this is another instance of the previous keys being given. No, no, at least not if unless something's different. I really don't expect these to be anything, so. Hmm. They could be. It's the kind of scene that could justify having it. Oh, fuck, that's the key. I found the key, guys. Because I, I, I'm i great like that. Just just like I thought. I noticed it the first time through. I, I'm the best at, at this whole Gravity Falls watching thing. Um, yeah. Uh, the key, of course. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ah. Figure out what it says. Rad Master. That's just like the Stanley Mobile to me. Like, it's weirdly placed on a screen that already invites that level of closer inspection. At this point in the game, I'm so much expecting it to be some, uh, something like in the, uh, the Northwest Mansion mystery. That one was, wow. Vicklupa <laughs>
Excelsi whatever! All right, I'm going to give a pass through because we did see a lot of stuff in this episode to see if there's anything else I can pass through with the Cypher Solvers. Uh, it's four, twelve, five, right? These are uh, Roman numerals at the bottom. I don't think. I still think this language is probably discernible. That'll be a lot of fun. And tell you what. Assuming there's a way and assuming it's something I can figure out without, like, additional information. Uh, give me, like, a list of scenes that would be worth going back to and I'll I'll do a video of going through them all. <laughs> what happened to Red Master? Not even on this screen. That's cheating. <laughs> Man, this Gorbash, Smeargle, and Amadon. I gotta make sure that my, my Cypher decoders are still working like I haven't screwed up a formula somewhere. Because that's... Very troubling to me. Just one second, I'll check Stan is not what he seems about. Turn to uh, let's see. I just know where this one is.
Okay, it's fine. Back to what we were doing. Yeah, there's gotta be another ciphers, unless these are Dungeons and Dragons references that I'm not picking up on, which is totally possible. Or, like, their creators' names, maybe. But these look like they should be something. Maybe there's a separate key for these? No, it, that wouldn't be possible without them being in, in a certain order or something. I'll look up Smeargle. Oh, if I spelled it right. Aha! I suppose it's an illusion. Let's find out what it's an illusion to. Oh, the movie adaptation of what? Flight of Dragons? I've not seen. I, I just haven't seen the Flight of Dragons. I guess that's all of these. Animated film. Surprised I'd never heard of it either. My nerd is uh, failing. <laughs> I just appreciate. They spelled it different. That's cheating. Gotta at least keep it consistent. Smear Hall. Apostrophe backslash. Next time.